Felix všiml tebe. This is based on a book that I loved. Indeed, Jerzy Kolinesku was a favorite of mine, Scream of Negri. There was also a book by the same author I loved. And a very interesting complex writer. He was considered the best critic we had. He also wrote novels. Good books, I thought then, no, I'm not so sure. Uh, influenced, uh, prejudiced, uh, because in the meantime I learned that he was uh, uh, such a collaborator for the communists. Uh, he took on prominent jobs and he was very duplicitous, to say the least. I also know an anecdote from from high school. In high school we had a divine teacher. The reading I would do, if there is any good good things I've done, I made for maybe my participation in in the revolution in 1989, which took on churches, would would be due to Kibrokian, Anton Kibrokian, Onish. It's phenomenal. He was a phenomenal. Professor of literature, and he told us to make us love reading and authors. He told us so so many things, anecdotes to 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 get the sparkle to have again the interest, the pension to read, and then to to become readers. Dostoevsky, with his last three minutes, uh, kind of a tragic spot, but he would be uh, uh, pardoned, but he thought he's looking at his last moments on this planet. Um, and <laughs> Kalinescu. Kalinescu had a funny style of talking. Uh, he would be fine. So he would go on something, I don't remember the words he called, but maybe that's called Portugal, the way they do things on that floor. Never again. She can't accept this out of this place. And this is when he was perorating about this. An official opens the door and they were afraid apparently of him in such a Stature, such a figure, a political leader. I'm sorry, Meister, Master. And he doesn't know this official, doesn't know about the questions of the question he was afraid of. Felix and Otilia, Felix and Otilia, the two young people who love each other. And in some ways, it can make you think of Romeo and Juliet because it's like that most famous of all love story, uh, a forbidden one. Um, <coughs> Otilia would not, cannot eventually marry uh, or live with Felix. Uh, it doesn't look like it, it's not introduced to her uh, She's more likely of going to. Willie, also maybe, because it's not Romeo and Juliet, it's different. To marry someone else, it was his name, Papa Dopo. A rich fellow played in the movie by who else? He said she was. The man who's only present in films of decades ago, up to, I don't know, 2000. 2000. 1990s, 2000, uh, the ever present is Nietzsche and Yekum, another calamity in a different way. So, uh, there, there you have it. Um, what brings joy, what makes this film so different, I would say, is Juliet Mika. Juliet Mika's uh, 
major factor, one that would be there with the best uh, today, any day, and not just here. It would be <coughs> as good as any in Hollywood, if I mean better. And um, he had a very special, unique style. Humor, the humor and, and comedy and tragedy. And, uh, yeah, he is an immense contribution to this otherwise modest film.